technology and communications of yesteryear are a far cry from what we know today. No sign of 5G, Wi-Fi and social media. Fast forward and our world is now powered by digital innovation and connectivity, opening up all sorts of new possibilities. Artificial intelligence is one of the big technology game changers and here in the western Greek city of Patras, researchers are using it to revolutionise our homes. With more and more of us living longer, putting a strain on health and social care systems, assisted living has become a buzzword in the world of tech. Step inside this university building and you get a glimpse of the smart home of the future. Designed for the elderly, people with disabilities and those suffering from chronic conditions, the aim is to maintain independence. On the wall, a smart mirror. Using facial recognition technology, it can spot signs of ill health. The mirror measures basic but critical biometric modalities, like the heart rate, like the pressure, or they can monitor the eye pupil and indicate, which indicates, can indicate potential future problems with the liver and many more. And all this information are directly uh, sent either to the doctor or to the family members. Hospital services are being brought into the home. Wearing a sensor, Kostas is demonstrating rehabilitation exercises. Using his body, he has to keep the moving dot in the green circle. His doctor would be informed of his progress. Now the typical hospital infrastructure is reaching their limit, their capacity. This is quite clear, and the future is going to be worse. So it's quite clear that what, uh, any service that we can take from the hospital and do it at home, it's going to be critical and very helpful for the hospital and the health system as a whole. Alexandra, Voice commands can open and close doors and windows and control lights. Sensors can also monitor the residents' movements, spotting early signs of things like dementia if regular behaviours change. I'd be happy to have this technology at home because it would ensure my safety. It would be like having a doctor in the house. The smart home is run on a cloud system using artificial intelligence. But isn't this all a bit too much Big Brother? We're generating events that something has happened. So, for example, in case of a fall, we know that the fall has taken place. That's it. No data, no images, no pictures, no video of the person that has fallen. With 5G on the horizon in Europe, increased connectivity will help take smart home technology to the next level. Howie has been in Europe for 20 years, working closely with universities and other partners to deploy and enable technologies like AI in combination with 5G in order to facilitate the healthcare sector, which is very much related to the smart home, and boost competitiveness and growth in Europe. How to cope with growing and ageing populations is a challenge for Europe and beyond. The smart home concept being developed here in Patras might just provide a cure.